There's a bunch of videos that I want to watch. I want to start with this one. Power couple. How to get ahead of 99% of programmers in 99 seconds. Let's do this from the beginning. So you want to become better than 99% of programmers. But you're doing the exact same things that 99% of other programmers are already doing. Watching okay. video tutorials, doing online courses and solving lead code problems. Everybody is doing that. Everybody's doing it because it's proven to work. Of course, I'm gonna watch video tutorials, take an online course and do lead code. I mean, a lot of people are gonna do that. Some maybe don't. Some people don't need to do these things. But I mean, is it that surprise that someone's gonna do a video, to watch a video tutorial or an online course? Doing what everyone else is doing is the very definition of how to become average. Doing what everyone else is doing is a very definition of how to become average. Um, I, I, I don't know what to feel about that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's good to be average. Like, you know, you don't want to go and, and, and murder people. <laughs> and there is nothing wrong with that. But if you want to get ahead of others, you have to be willing to do what others are not willing to do. Okay. Here are five such things you can do right now. Okay, so we're gonna get five tips. Okay, good. We're gonna get five tips on how to get ahead and do something that everyone else doesn't do. I'm interested. I, I just wanna say, these better not include video tutorials, courses, or doing lead code. Most people think that- pro Learn debugging. Programmers code all day. In reality, programmers spend a lot of their time debugging code. Breaking things and fixing them is an essential part of becoming a skilled programmer. Yet, beginners don't spend any time trying to learn the right way to debug code. To get started with learning debugging, you can do this course called Soft. You're joking, bro. You're you're joking. You just said don't take a course, and now you're saying to get started with learning debugging, you can do this course. Tell me, I didn't just call that in the beginning of the video he literally said so you want to become better than 99 percent of programmers 99 people are taking courses watching online videos and doing lead code and this dude num tip number one to get started with learning debugging you can do this course called software debugging on unity or how about you just build stuff and the the single thing of programming you will have to debug Software debugging on udacity oh that was it that was the whole tip okay it's 99 seconds i forgot when I was a beginner, I would watch the longest possible programming tutorial, learn okay. as many languages as I could, and build as many projects as possible. In other words, I thought that quantity is all that matters. But in programming, quality matters much more than quantity. One great project on your resume can easily give you an edge over someone who has 10 basic projects on their resume. So you want to become better than 99% of programmers. Bro, I couldn't disagree with this more. I actually say build as much, if you're a beginner, build as much as possible. Like even if it's doo-doo cakes, if you're a beginner, build as much stuff as, keep building over and over and over again. Because in the process of you building, maybe look at different patterns and your code will just naturally progress to being higher quality when you see the value and see how other people, especially in GitHub, like look at the code it's written on github by like you know proper team i would definitely say quantity over quality if you're programming you know time in the saddle read read code. let me ask you a question during my last two years of working at google let's assume that i've written a total of 10,000 lines of code how many total lines of code do you think i've read during the same period it would easily be 100,000 lines of code even though the numbers here are made up what I'm trying to say is that I would have roughly read 10 times more code than I've written. Yet new- I don't even understand that. Programmers spend no time reading code written by experienced programmers. Go to GitHub and spend 30 minutes trying to understand someone else's code every day. Don't just hop into GitHub and type and just find a random repo and spend half an hour. Look, that, don't do that. What you should do, if you're building on something, like if you're making a clone or there's a feature that another project has, look at how they have implemented it and look at their code. The biggest disadvantage that the beginners face is that often they don't get the opportunity to collaborate with the experienced programmers. As a result, they never learn what it's like to work with other engineers on the team. To solve this problem, you can start contributing to open source projects. I will link a guide in the description to help you get started. Okay. To become I, That's the only one that I'd say is like decent. A top 1% programmer. You need to first know what a top 1% programmer looks like. But where can you even find a top 1% program? But where can you find a top 1% coder? At conferences and meetups. To find meet- Not on this channel? Damn, that's heat. 
I don't know, they're probably too busy and like probably not attending conferences and meetups and are probably building stuff. Meetups happening near you. You can use a website like meetup.com. But before you can do any of this, you need to first know how to think like a programmer. Watch this video for that. My name is Sahil and I'll Don't be 99% of programmers. Don't watch YouTube tutorials. Don't even do courses. Don't do lead code. But watch my video. Yeah, I think this is this statement summarizes everything. I remember when you watch another video, it's like everything you mentioned is a basic requirement to be an engineer. Yeah. It's like a lot of these content creators just take the most basic, obvious stuff and are like, do this to be great. And it's like debugging, reading code, writing code, improving code quality. Like <laughs> Holy, you just rocked my world. Geohot said it better, best here. Let's see. Advice on how to get into programming. You are never going to learn programming by watching a video. That's it, done. If you're learning how to program, just get off YouTube. Like maybe find one crash course, maybe one Udemy course to get you started, but like get a textbook or like do something online where you program. Called learn programming. The only way to learn programming, I think, and the only one is it, the only way everyone I've ever met who can program well, they learned it all in the same way. They had something they wanted to do. Yep. And then they tried to do it. The only advice I have for learning programming is go program. That, that That's it. That's the only advice. The only advice for programmers is go program. So that's what I mean. Like the quantity aspect, I definitely think, I think you should just keep building stuff. Keep building, keep building, try to improve it. 